So in our basement, I noticed that there was a leak uh, coming from the ceiling and a little bit of investigation revealed that it was actually the dishwasher that was leaking from the underneath. I'm going to show you how I fixed that. To um, check, I removed the bottom panel using a 516 um, hex bit. There is a screw on the left and there is one on the right. Once I removed that, I could remove the panel. And then using a flashlight, I could see that it was leaking from underneath um, from what is called as a diverter motor. So I'll show you how, what it looks like, but that's where the leak was and uh, how to fix it. This is how the diverter motor looks like. This helps divert uh, water in the upper and the lower spray arms in the dishwasher. And this goes underneath uh, the dishwasher and the shaft that you see that sticks out and can be seen from uh, inside the dishwasher. Um, and there's a grommet that goes on it, which becomes loose. And if, as you can see, it's pretty nasty uh, in, uh, from the bottom. And that's where the leak was. We don't really have to uh, remove the diverter motor, but if there was a need to ever replace it, this is the uh, part number right here. I, I think they are common between a whole bunch of uh, dishwashers, including, I think, um, like Kenmore and Whirlpool and a few others. Well, let's take a look at how to replace the grommet or the rubber washer that goes on the spindle to stop this leak. The first thing I do is open the dishwasher door to remove the racks. Uh, the top rack, I just pulled it out. And on this particular model, there are two tabs which can be flicked outwards and the rack can just be simply pulled uh, out then. Um, next, I just push these uh, arms back in and the lower rack can simply be pushed, pulled out. With the racks out of the way, I can now remove the feed tube assembly and the lower spare arm and the upper spare arm. And again, on this particular model, um, they are attached with small clips. Um, so that clip here it can, it can be just pushed outwards and the feed tube assembly can be simply removed and here you can see that there's a clip here that I just need to push out like so and then uh, from the other side it can be now freed up by pulling in so that uh, removes the feed tube assembly and from the bottom I just need to wiggle it out a little bit and that should now completely come out. The lower spare arm, I just hold it from the uh, square part and then uh, rotate it counterclockwise to remove. This cover, this has a small latch locking it. You just push it over the tab and rotate it counterclockwise to remove it. And there's the diffuser disc or the diverter disc. And here we can see the part of the spindle that we looked at on the diverter motor assembly before. And the black grommet is the part that we need to replace. To remove the old grommet, a thin screwdriver or an Allen key might be useful. I used the smallest Allen key I had to kind of pop it up like that. The part number for the grommet I ordered is WPW1019567. And now I grabbed a new grommet. Um, I'm going to put the part number in the description. But I just put a little bit of a dishwasher soap so it's easier to slide it on the uh, the diverter motor spindle. Uh, just a little bit of a dishwasher soap and uh, that should be good to go. After sliding the grommet down on the spindle, I just push it down with uh, the blunt end of the screwdriver so not to damage it, but uh, seat it properly. Next, I put the diffuser disc back on. Uh, there is a notch, so it will go only in uh, one way. So I just put it on and slightly rotate it so it can seat. And then after that, I can um, do the rest of the installation following the steps in the reverse order. With this, the leak is fixed. And with everything put back together, the dishwasher is running great. In the end, I'm very happy with the result.